Have you ever looked at your hand and wondered how you can make a fist or how it moves? Hi everyone, my name is Julia and I work at Mississauga Library. Today I'm going to give you a quick lesson on bones and tendons that are found in your hand while making an articulated hand. As you can see, our hand can move. <laughs> so what are bones? Bones are structures that are found all over your body. They help keep your body upright, they protect your organs, and they help you move. Without bones, we would just be a ball of mush. So now, what are tendons? Tendons are connective tissue that connect your bones to your muscles. You can think of it as a rope. They also help with movement. Now that we talked about bones and tendons, let's move on to making our articulated hand. The materials you are going to need to create this hand are some straws. I have 10 straws, scissors, a pencil or black marker, some ribbon or string, a piece of paper, and tape. Now that we have all of our materials, let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is grab our paper, our scissors, and our pencil. Using our paper and pencil, we are going to trace our hand. Remember to spread out your fingers wide enough for the pencil to go around. Now that your hand is traced, you're going to use your scissors to cut out your hand. Great, now that our hand is cut out, we are going to need our scissors, our straws, and our pencil. We are now going to create the bones that we find in our hand. To create the bones, we are going to look at our human hand and we're going to use our pencil to find the lines that you see on our fingers. Each finger has two lines for our three bones. And our thumb has one line for our two bones. The bones in your fingers and your thumb do not connect. Therefore, we can make a fist and move our fingers. To create these lines, we are going to align our finger to our paper hand and make lines roughly where our bones are. We are going to repeat that with all of our fingers and this will help us with creating our bones. Now that we created the lines on our fingers, we can now start our bones. With our straw, we are going to place it on our finger and we are going to use a black marker to divide the straw into our bones. So we're going to use the lines here to cut out, to create our bones. So here will be one bone, here will, here will be the other one, and the third one will be right here. So now we're going to cut that out and we are going to tape it to our finger. And now for the next bone and our final bone. And we want to align the bones together just like that. So we're going to repeat this process for all of our fingers. As you can see, all of our fingers now have three bones and our thumb has two bones. In between each bone, there is a space to allow our fingers to bend. Now we need to create the long bones that are found in our palm. Again, we are going to use our straw, our black marker, scissors, and tape. We are going to measure our straw so it's not touching the last bone in our finger and we are going to mark it here right at the bottom of the palm. We are now going to cut out the straw just like we did before. We are going to tape the straw to the palm and we are going to repeat the process for all of our fingers. Now all of our bones are taped to our hand. We have the three bones for each finger the two bones for our thumb, and the five long bones that are found in our palm. And they all end at the end of our palm. Now we are going to create our tendon. We are going to grab some ribbon or string, grab our palm, 
and we are going to thread the string or ribbon into each straw. Take your time, it may be a little tricky. And keep threading it in. Now it's at the end. And we're going to pull just enough, about 10 centimeters worth. You can eyeball this, just so we can still pull on our finger and make it move. Once you've threaded your ribbon through the straws, we are going to cut the end, grab some tape, flip over our ribbon and tape it into place. Just like that. And as you can see, now our finger can move. We are going to repeat this with each finger. Now that we have all of our bones taped onto our hand, and each finger has the threaded ribbon to create our tendon, we have completed our articulated hand. At the end of each ribbon, I tied a knot so it's easier to hold on to it as you are pulling. Now you can see, when you pull on each string, our finger moves. <laughs> the bones or straws create structure for our fingers and the ribbon or tendons help our finger move by connecting the bones together and also creating space so our fingers can bend. Isn't that so fun? Now, this is completely optional. You can flip over your hand and you can decorate your fingers with nails or even jewelry. And there you have it, your very own articulated hand. You can now go to all your friends and family members and show them just how their hand works by teaching them about their bones and their tendons. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out all the other videos we have on there. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. For more information, you can check out our library website at mississauga.ca slash library. Thank you again. Hope to see you soon. Bye. <laughs>